The Android Updates page lets you update the Android version for your Zebra DNA Cloud managed devices. On the Device View tab, we can view all our devices that are managed by Zebra DNA Cloud. Notice that under Update Status, some of the devices show a new update available. You'll also notice under the Actions heading for those devices, there is a URL that will allow you to update to the latest Android version. There is also a URL for a customized update. Click to select the device or devices you want to update. At the bottom left of the page you will see a notification that will allow you to update to the latest or perform a customized update. We will run the update to latest first. Click the update to latest button. This will launch a wizard that will walk you through the update settings process. Step 1 is name and description. Here we can edit the automatically generated job name, see the job source, and add a job description. Then click Next. Step 2 is Update Selection. Under the Latest Version area, there is a URL you can click to read the release notes. Under the Automation Option area, you can configure settings to automatically update your selected device or devices to the latest version every time a new version is released. In this area you can also set a delay of up to 10 days for when the update is performed. Then click Next. Step 3 is Schedule. Here we have the option to schedule the update to run as soon as possible. Or we can select Customize to set a future date to apply the update. Along with selecting the date, you have the ability to set a specific time window for the update to be installed. Then click Next. Step 4 is Conditions. Here we can define conditions required for the update to occur. We can define power supply conditions, data usage conditions, create a pre-install message that will appear on the targeted device or devices, and define if and for how long users can postpone the update. Then click Next. Step 5 is Review. Here you can review all the selections you have made from the previous four steps. When satisfied these selections are correct, click Start Job. Since in this example we selected an automation option, we can click on the Automation tab to ensure our job is created. The Automation tab shows any perpetual rules, this relates to when you select Always Update the Device checkbox. The actual jobs the rule creates will show up on the Deployment tab similar to Customize. That would happen each month when a new update goes out. Here you will find a URL that allows you to open and see the job status along with a URL that will allow you to delete the job. Let's delete this job and now do a customized update. As in the previous job we select the device or devices that we wish to update. This time we will click the customized update button. The sequence and number of steps are the same. The only difference is that in step 2, update selection, we now have the ability to select update packages other than the newest version. Once we select the version we want to update to, the rest of the steps are the same as when we select it, update to the latest.